channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here or maybe you're not new here and you just thought my name was Louise, you're not the only one. Um, it's a long story. We'll tell you another time. Um, today I'm doing a collab. This is a like get to know uh, the person behind the channel collab. So it's basically a Q&A. Um, I have set questions that I'm going to answer and um, you'll just get to know a little bit more about me. And you're about to learn a lot about my cat, Hutchie because he's about to knock over the tripod, which is actually a Tupperware, two bowls, a towel holder, and it's balancing my phone. So that is how I film. Um, this is Hutch, he's in pretty much all of my videos. He's in the way all the time, but I love him. He's a sweet boy, I adopted him last April. Um, and he's just, show them your face. Look at those green eyes. He's just the sweetest little boy. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get on with the questions. By the way, this collab is hosted by Barrett over at Living Life on Track. She is amazing. A lot of people in this collab are people that I've watched for years on YouTube. They have given me so much inspiration. Some of them have inspired me to stay on Weight Watchers or start Weight Watchers to begin with. Um, they have tons of great content. A lot of them have been on here for a long time, so they have hundreds of videos for you guys to watch. Um, so sweet. I love when you bite me. It's so sweet. Um, can you, hold on, we're having an issue with the t-shirt. Okay, goodbye. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, yeah, I have a, like been so inspired by a lot of these people for a long time and I'm just kind of blown away that I got invited to be in a collab with a lot of them because they have huge channels and I just really um, appreciate it. So thank you Barrett for making this such a fun collab and so easy. Uh, she is a godsend. She did a lot for everybody and made it really simple on all of us. Uh, but moving on, let's get to the questions. I have my computer right here to um, refer to because I definitely don't know what the questions are. Okay, I had to get rid of the cat because he was really distracting me. Uh, but question number one is how old are you? I am 26 years old. My birthday's in December, so I'm baby 26. Um, how tall are you? I'm 5'4". And what is your start and goal weight? I uh, started at 210, no, 215 pounds. Um, that was the only number I ever saw on the scale. I think I was actually higher uh, when I first started trying to lose weight, but I didn't look at the scale. I started with the whole 30, which for me was more like the whole 14. I did not make it 30 days, but I definitely know that I lost weight because I had a pair of shorts that wouldn't button and by the end of my like 14 days, they did button. Um, and I weighed myself at the end of that and that is when I weighed 215. So I think I probably weighed somewhere about like 220 maybe uh, when I started, but I go by 215, that's my number. And my goal weight is 145 for now. I'm currently, I weighed in this morning at 158.7 I don't know, seven or something. So I'm like a little, like right around 14 pounds until goal. Um, so I'm getting, I'm getting close, which is crazy because I feel like, I don't know. I thought, I used to dream about being where I'm at right now. And honestly, it feels just as good as I thought it would. It feels really good to like get my body back and feel like me again, you know? So those are my my stats, if you will. Um, what part of your body do you feel the most self-conscious about? Probably my arms. I like, I don't know. I just feel like I have like chubby, do you see this? Like I just have like chubby arms. Um, even when I was like younger and skinnier, um, I still feel like I had issues with my arms, like buying shirts. I would always have to size up if the shirt was like had a tight arm because it would never fit. Um, so yeah, I would say my arms are probably what I'm most self-conscious about. <clears throat> um, let's see. Okay, so this question says, I want to lose at least, it's from somebody else. So I want to lose at least 25 pounds. If you've lost that much, what changed first in your appearance? So I have lost 25 pounds. Um, I would say, oh, that is hard. What changed first? I feel like, um, just like my midsection overall, kind of shrunk first. It definitely wasn't my face. It wasn't really my legs either, but like my midsection is definitely where I kind of gained the weight. It's like all right up in here. So I think that <clears throat> definitely looked better sooner or it was, it was the most noticeable. Um, it was the, definitely the most noticeable change in the beginning. 
um, and like being able to button high-waisted jeans again so I knew I was losing inches there um, so I would think I would say that's probably the most noticeable um, I have lots of trouble getting my water in what is your best tip in drinking more water okay I would say get yourself a Yeti or something some type of whatever this is like metal I don't know I cannot remember for like me what this is called get something this material because it will keep it ice freaking cold like I have had this Yeti for like three or four years and I take it everywhere with me literally in the car to work by my bedside table hi honey he like wants to play so bad um literally it's by my side 24 7 and I'm so obsessed with it it keeps my water ice cold I bought the lid with a straw you can find them on Am you can find them on Amazon I'm um, like ten dollars or less and that helps me a lot just drinking out of a tumbler that I like with a straw that I like um if you don't like I like ice cold plain water I would like I like it most of the time pretty much all the time if you don't I would suggest drink enhancers my favorites are like the crystal light raspberry lemonade is a really good one um, also drinking carbonated water is how I get a lot of my water in especially like for lunch and stuff it just keeps it interesting I used to hate carbonated water uh, but when I started the whole 30 and I couldn't have soda I was like really addicted to diet soda um, I switched to carbonated water and I would put a lot of lemon and lime juice like a lot and that helped me kind of shift away from soda and get carbonated water in which is better than you know chemicals or whatever so that is definitely kind of how I started to like water but my biggest tip would be get yourself a tumbler that you like and try to make it a habit to have it with you all the time keep the keep ice in there um use it every day that's what I do <clears throat> um do you do YouTube full-time and if not what do you do I do not do YouTube full-time I probably never will um I work for a construction company that uh, builds hotels. So that's what I do. I work in the office. I do like a lot of like random office stuff like payroll and things like that. And I also write the contracts. So when we do, when we start new jobs or we're doing renovations or something, we hire out, you know, someone's going to paint, someone's going to do the vinyl, et cetera, et cetera. So I create the contracts and send them to the subcontractors. Um, yeah, that's probably mainly what I do. I keep track of some purchase orders for some of the jobs, like things that come in. I keep track of what we ordered, did we get everything, what day did it arrive, etc. So, yeah, I work for a construction company. Um, and I'm also currently <clears throat> in school to get my real estate, my Texas real estate license, um, which is very exciting. This is something I've thought about for a really long time. I plan to start a channel. It already technically exists, but I haven't posted anything. Um, I plan to start a channel there to just kind of document my journey and, um, you know, through getting my license and then after, once I have a license, talk more about what I do on the day to day, um, you know, tips and tricks for realtors, tips and tricks for buyers and sellers, just as I learn, teach more people um, what I've learned kind of thing. So I really, I just really like YouTube. I like making videos um, and I don't necessarily want to have my food channel and my real estate channel be the same. Like it just feels like it would get confusing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I won't be real estate full time, especially off the bat, but kind of the the end goal, the dream goal would be uh, real estate full time. So, yeah. Um, what state do you live in? I live in Texas, the best state of all. Wreckham, I went to Texas Tech University. Um, yeah, I just love Texas, born and raised. Born and raised, y'all. Okay. Does it upset you when people hit the thumbs down or leave a bad comment? It would upset me. Um, I don't really get enough comments for anyone to be rude. <laughs> I've never gotten a rude comment ever. Um, I do get thumbs down and that doesn't bother me. Like, honestly, I think about like I've accidentally thumbs downed videos before and then realized later and then I'll go back and fix it. But like, I just, People are, you know, people your whole life are not going to like you. You just got to get over that. You just got to get over it. Especially if you want to be on social media and put yourself out there like this. You've got to be able to, like, brush it off. Um, yeah. I just, I mean, these are people on the internet that I'm never going to meet if they don't like my video. 
so be it, you know, no skin off my back. It's obviously affecting them a lot more than it's affecting me. How do you give yourself a pep talk after a bad day in life? Uh, wine, like a lot of wine, usually. Okay, I'm kidding, kind of. I'm not, I'm really not kidding. Um, so I feel like I give myself a lot of pep talks and I also kind of let myself have a day. Like if I'm, you know, if I just need to like be in a mood, I'm not going to push it on anybody, but I will go home and I will do my own thing. I'll take a bath. I will have a glass of wine. I will, um, relax and just like binge watch YouTube videos. That's like my favorite thing to do. Um, and just kind of just let myself relax a bit. And it usually like just relaxing and doing what I want to do kind of puts in perspective that like whatever it was that made it a bad day is not that big of a deal. Um, and it kind of goes back to that saying that's like, did you have a bad day or did you have a bad five minutes that you milked all day? Usually that's the case. Um, but yeah, I don't think that there's anything wrong with like feeling your feelings. If you're having a bad day, um, don't push it on anybody else, but let yourself, you know, let yourself feel it. It's okay to have a bad day. Everybody does it. Um, I tried to not let it ever extend past that. Um, also FaceTiming with my girlfriends and just like venting. Usually by the end of the phone call, I'm like, we're good. So I would say that. I let my friends give me pep talks more than I pep talk myself. Um, <clears throat> but I guess if we're talking about bad days as far as like weight loss, because I think a lot of the channels on here are weight loss related. Um, I just remind myself why I'm doing this and that this is not worse than how I felt at my heaviest weight. Like that was the worst and I never want to go back to that. Um, hating what you see in the mirror is like not a fun thing. Like it's not to anybody. And so to me, like having a bad day and feeling like I did poorly or I'm frustrated, I want to eat whatever I want, but I don't have enough points or whatever the case is. Um, I just remind myself like why I'm doing this, look at how far I've come, look at progress pictures of myself or others. And that really like puts it back into perspective and I get over it. Sometimes I just go to sleep. If I like, all I want to do is eat and I've had my points, I'm like, get yourself to sleep. It always helps. So do you exercise, <coughs> excuse me, do you exercise regularly if, and if yes or no, why? Um, I don't exercise regularly. I kind of go through phases. I started the gym guides, the Mari Fitness gym guides, which I love, by the way. Like, I've never actually loved working out as much as I did when I was doing those. And then mid-February, I got uh, rear-ended. It wasn't bad. My car was fine. Their car was kind of messed up, but my car was perfectly fine. Um, but she hit me hard enough where it kind of messed up my back for a couple of days and my neck, so I didn't work out the rest of that week, and I just kind of got out of the habit. So... I probably need to get back on that, but no, I don't exercise regularly. I've pretty much lost all of the weight. Um, I've pretty much lost all of the weight by eating right. Um, as I get closer to goal, I realize um, more that I do want to tone up um, and not just lose, you know, the fat, but I want to gain some muscle. Um, so I'll work on that. But right now I don't exercise regularly. I plan to go on more walks and stuff. Like we have a lot of cool parks around here with walking trails. So I'd really like to do that more, um, on weekends and stuff, but yeah, I don't really work out. <laughs> um, do you ever sneak food or not count it and act like you never ate it? Okay. I don't really sneak food. Like I live alone. I ain't got nobody to sneak it to. Um, but I do not count things. I don't really pretend that I didn't eat it, but this is, let me explain this. This is how, this is how I function. Okay, so on Weight Watchers, you have weeklies, right? You have like, I don't know, I have like 42 or something like that. So once a week, sometime after weigh-in day, which is Thursday, so like Thursday nights or Friday nights or Saturday, depends on what my like schedule is. I usually go out and just have like a night of like I'll drink, I'll have whatever I want, or order like I'll eat the appetizer that we order, like whatever, if it's date night or if I'm out with my family, and I just eat, I don't think about it. I don't think about the points. So at that point, you're distracting me. At that point, I, in my head, write off my weeklies. I say, those are my 42, they're gone, 
the next four or five, however many days it is until weigh-in, I, I have 23 points. That's how many points I can use in a day. Um, I usually don't track the cheat meal. Sometimes I might even have weeklies left over after it. I don't know. But I usually don't track it just because it kind of like puts a damper on the mood, you know? Like I would rather just say like I know they're gone because I ate that meal and now I have this many dailies to get me through every day. And that works out great for me. I meal prep. I know exactly what I'm eating. I plan out my points basically the Sunday, like for the week, the Sunday ahead. Um, and that just really works for me. So I don't pretend that I didn't eat it, but I write them off in my head and I don't put them into the app because I don't need to see that my french fries are 22 points. Like, stop ruining my life, okay? That's not what I need to see. I'm all about positivity, okay, and potatoes. Positivity and potatoes, that's my motto. Um, okay, so bonus question. Who is someone you watch outside of your niche? Niche, niche? I never know. I kind of like niche better because uh, niche just sounds too fancy. Do you see how cute he is? Look at the belly. Oh, you got a belly. Okay, he was so skinny when I got him too. He was fat boy. He was fat boy. Um, someone I, I watch a lot of people. I would say my favorite is Shane Dawson, which is like, okay, he's like a huge YouTuber, but his conspiracy videos, that is like my Sunday night type of situation. I am like a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. I don't think I believe them. I'm just saying they're interesting. I love to learn about them and learn why people think that they're true. Like that to me is fascinating. So I really love Shane Dawson. Um, Casey Holmes is like beauty mostly and like lifestyle. Love her. Uh, Lavina D. Meg, which is Meg, Megan Lee. She just got married. Um, Megan Morrison, I think is her, new, is her new last name. I love her. I watched her forever. Um, I used to watch Catherine Ann, but I don't think she has a channel anymore. Or she doesn't post on it. I watch a lot of people. I'm like, I don't watch TV. I like watch YouTube. But I would say Shane Dawson is probably my favorite. Um, I also watch Aaron does the keto, which um, I'm not on keto, so I feel like that might be out of my niche. Uh, but I do like her. I found her through Weight Watchers. And then I also like Shelly's Home Life, which she's taking a break from YouTube right now. So that's kind of a bummer, but I love her videos. Shelly is actually the reason that I started. He's so freaking cute. Um, Shelly is actually the reason that I started Weight Watchers to begin with because two years ago in 2016, when I, when I you know, purchased Weight Watchers, the app or whatever, signed up, I was watching Shelly and she was talking about how she was on Weight Watchers at the time. She has since switched to keto. I still love her channel. I still love her recipes as much as I always have, uh, but she has a family. She's older. She's got a, um, a daughter in high school. So I don't know. They're keto. Does that make sense? Those are more like in my niche, but not, we don't eat the same, but we are, we talk about weight loss and stuff. So anyways, that is everything in the Q and A for today. Um, eventually probably when I gain more subscribers, I will do another Q and A probably, but, um, I was really happy to join this collab. So thank you again, Barrett for, um, inviting me. I'm so happy to do it. I will link everybody's channel who is also in the collab down below. So go check them out, watch their video, learn a little bit more about them. Um, I love collabs cause you can just like binge watch. I love it. And you can find so many new people to follow. Um, and there's a lot of great people. We are not all on Weight Watchers. So if you are not on Weight Watchers, definitely go check it out because you might find some people that eat according to your needs and your goals and stuff. So that is all that I have for today. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that you subscribe to my channel, but if you don't, I understand. It's fine. No hard feelings. Don't give me a thumbs down. Um, but definitely catch up, catch up with me on Instagram or comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I love interacting with everybody and like learning, learning about you. It's just fun. I like meeting new people. I'm Okay, so I ended up getting cut out or cut off during my outro because uh, somebody called me. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm so happy to join this collab. Check out everybody else who participated down below. I'm sure they have awesome videos. I cannot wait to see everybody's. Um, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do, but no pressure. It's totally cool. If you don't want to stick around, it's fine. Um, but thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.